Hi everyone, this is Galen Martling. Today I'm here with Unity Stamp Company. I am showcasing Happy Jolly Holiday stamps. And this is a beautiful scene. It's a winter scene and it has a corresponding sentiment that I'm using. I decided to make a slimline card in watercolor. So I pre-stamped it with waterproof ink onto watercolor paper. And then I just did a next step and I went ahead and die cut this out. I'm using Alt New for watercolor. And so to begin, I go ahead and make a watercolor palette, if you will, right in this pan set here. I'm using the pan set for all the different colors I want to use. And uh, I'm using the palette on the side there uh, for my stamped panel, just so that any excess watercolor that bleeds off of that uh, doesn't get on my craft mat. I just uh, have a place for it there. Sometimes I add color. If I have a smaller panel I'm working with, I add the color right to this palette mat. But uh, for now, I'm just going to add the sky in the background. I just, I just dabbed water first with a brush. Now I'm blotting in a little bit of the blue right over that water that I added. This blends out nicely when it's sort of a wet on wet technique there for the sky. And um, if you want it to blend more or be lighter, just add water. If you want it to um, be darker, just keep adding more color in the background. For this card, I wanted to go with a light scene on purpose. I just really wanted something muted and soft, mimicking like a peaceful winter scene. And so um, when I'm happy with that, I move on to another color. So I'm going to add some browns into this bunny. I think I used a couple of different shades of brown. I'm also going to use that brown to make a little shadow underneath where they're sitting. And um, that will that blends nicely, more natural look for outside. And then I just pick some colors to add to the snowman. Not many colors at all, just like a red, just red. And I came in later and added some orange for his nose. And so um, go ahead and not too much water. If you have a small area, you wanna use a, a little bit of water. For the sky, I used more water because I wanted it to blend out in a larger area. And so for the trees, I wanted the white to pop a little bit more. I wanted a little bit of a contrast. So I added green just where the stamp shows some shadow and shading. And so I added green there over the black shading of the stamping. But you can see that there's still a lot of white in the trees to mimic snow. I was going for that look. And, um, you know, do that for all three. Now, also, I'll go back over this green area with just a damp brush. I make sure all the water's off, uh, where a lot of the water is off of the brush, and I go in and blend it out. Just smooth out some of that green so it's not too blotchy. And um, I like the way it looks. So then I went, I thought the background needed a little more color. I wanted the snowman to pop a little bit more on the background, so I added some blue around it, uh, around the snowman. And then I add water to my brush and blend out some of that blue. And then I dampen the brush, blot off some of the water, and take away some of the blue where I think it's too much. So you can move around the watercolor. You can add and take away as long as the watercolor is still wet. So I, I sped up this process a little bit for video's sake, but it took a little bit longer than, obviously it took a longer than this to make the scene. It was nice. It's a very peaceful way to craft and um, I, I like doing it. And so now uh, for this particular project, I heat set using a heat tool, this scene panel. And um, you can leave it set to dry overnight maybe, or for a few hours to make sure that panel is real dry. Once it's dry, you can go ahead and start getting your layers together. I used a, a cut um, slimline card base that I used a paper trimmer and a scoring board to score and cut. Then I layered some color card stock as a background, and I added foam tape behind the stamped panel to pop it up a little bit. 
and put that right on the front of the car to finish. So really it's flat at the top, which I just love. It, and it fits nicely into a number 10 envelope for slimline cards. I hope you like it and give it a try and share what you do. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe and have a wonderful day.